Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Indianapolis Indians and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Ryan Austin, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he's had a little bit of a struggle against right-handed hitters, and to me, that's Batting the key third. to this game. They're Short hitting stop. over 300. Right-handed hitters over 300. So he's going to have to get the right-handers out if he wants to win this game. Let's see if he's able to execute against the right-handers in this one. Hey, Char, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. Well, they've been playing some pretty good baseball, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matt, they're feeling it right now. You know, they're starting to play good ball. They're really playing good. And they're closing in on that division, and this time of the summer, it's all about baseball. You come to the park, the grass is green, you smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play, even in the afternoon during batting practice, and that's what I see with this club right now. Throw to first, we'll take care of them. Score it two to three on the putout, and there are two gone now. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Digging in to try it again, number 26. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Number 26. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Left side. And that'll get on through into left for a leadoff single. Well, Matt, that's his eighth game with that hit right there. Eight games in a row. He's swinging the bat. We've been watching him over this week just scorch. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now, Sean Zaraga Catherine. looking to follow up the Sean. RBI single Zaraga. from his first at bat. Hey, one down now, one down. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Tim Money. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Hey, let's go, big fella. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Outside for a ball, one and one. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Cordero is right there. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Ready once again, Nick Gallardo. He's got a couple of doubles Third, thus far, so we'll see if Nick he can keep it up. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Chopped weakly to the left. To his left, Rogers on to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Riding in once again, Tim Money. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hey, let's go, big fella. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. What a great pitch. When you have the velocity to throw a ball by somebody up there in the zone, I don't know why guys don't use it more. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Ready for another shot now. now Tim Money. No hits in Tim three tries so Money. far. He's struck out once. And make him come to you. Here's the first pitch to him. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth right, inning. Come on now, one time, let it fly. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Good job, drive him in right Ready here. with here another 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. That's a nice take right there. Now, you don't get too excited about somebody taking a pitch, but a changeup right there in that situation with two strikes, that's good hitting. 
Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in and looking for more. Andy Terrell. You got a hold. Left fielder. Andy Terrell. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Grounded to short. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit in to score the runner from third. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Digging in once again, Julius Cordero. Seven, second baseman, Julius Cordero. One down now, one down. Hey, come on, guys, let's go. Gotta hold him. Here's the pitch on two and two. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a seven to two ball game. Coming to the plate now, number 26. It was a walk in his last trip. The 0 2 home. Popped high in the that's air. Up, that's up, that's up. I got it, I got it. Rogers is there. Two down. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone, but maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. And this evening's ends at a seven. On the air on the show, tonight game two of this three-game weekend series between the Indianapolis Indians and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jeremy Fagan will be on the bump for game two of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Matt, you look at the last three outings, and I know it's just a small sample size, but he's throwing the ball really well. And I look at his whip. His whip is 1-1. One, one. When you do that, you're throwing the ball pretty good. Batting third. Striding into the box, Tim, Tim Money comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Pyle has it in his tracks, and that's the third out. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Hey, let's hold Settling in now, Sean Zaraga. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Zaraga. Here's the one and two delivery. On the ground, up the middle. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Ready for another chance. Tim Money, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Money. Now a move over to first, and the runner back safely. There goes the runner. A pitch out. The throw. And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. Hey, get your pitch up. 1 0 there, count. Here it is. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's one and one. All right, one time right here, kid. From the stretch, runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. 
called strike two. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count, and you get a fastball right there, middle in. I don't know. I'd have had to swing at that. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across. Standing in, Tim Money, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Lays Help. off that time, and it's one and two. This is a big spot right here. Two runners on. You got an 0-2 count. You waste one. Now you make it work. Throw one in the dirt. Throw one high. Make him chase it, and you got a chance to strand those yep, runners on base. Now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no error. Stepping into the box, off with the Tim Indian. Money, 0 for 3 with a couple of Tim strikeouts for Money. him to this point in the ball game. Toss started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, baby. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in now, Tim Money. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the night. Popped high in the air. Lambert is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Tyler Glasnow gets the win. On display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we wrap up this three-game weekend series between the Indianapolis Indians and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. James O'Neill gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do you have for Matty us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's got an ERA Tim under four. Money. Now, that's not great, and it's not bad either. He's consistent. And he's a very reliable pitcher. So the thing you like about him, give me the ball, I'm going to go get him, and then you get what you get. HR, our home nine as they begin play here this evening. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Well, it's the last game at home before a seven-game road trip. You want to win this game because really seven games isn't that long. It's just one week. So you give the fans a nice taste today. They run out, buy tickets, and they see you in a week. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, they've really shut him down this series. No hits in the series, and they've done a great job of executing their pitches. They found his weaknesses and stayed with it. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Runner at first here, one man out. And again a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Runners on first with one down.
Again, he sends it out of play. Here we go. Another try at 2 2. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Kimblehan back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he will scurry back. Digging in, Nick Gallardo. His average for the hey, year sits fun. in the 280s Nick entering play. 0-1, oh here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. And he's safe. Hey. Standing in, Tim Money. 0 for Short 1 stop. for him here in this Tim one. Money. Come on. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Hey, look at one pitch right here. Come on now. Line towards center field. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Now at the plate, Jesus now Vina, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Jesus hey, your pitch up, Vina. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly right here. Runner, runner. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses the throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Hey, let it rip up there. Let's go. Ready with the two and two. Pitch outside the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Meet you right here one time, kid. Once again, a 3-2. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Yuri Barron loves it. Only play is going to be at first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker. Digging in, Hernan Iribarin looking second to put the ball in play Hernan. here. He went down on strikes Hernan. in his first at-bat. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time, so that gave the runner plenty of time to bear. Into the box, Tim Money, a hit in two Tim tries so Money. far. Into the windup and the pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Right now. Here's the 0 1. Grounded to the right. He's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Into the box now. Tim Money. He'll start things out Short for us here in inning Tim number eight. Money. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And that will end up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. 
Zero. took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there and knock one as far as he could. He got the off-speed pitch inside, and he pulled off of it. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The right fielder, number 14, Henry Blanco. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. So coming to the plate, Andy Terrell, now as he'll look to bring home that time run from second with Andy a base hit into the outfield. Out here, huh? Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And the throw to first will take care of him as the tying run will be left stranded at second base. This ball game is over. Close one tonight.